Oh, welcome along, welcome along. Uh, yeah, good, how are you? Yeah, good. Good, go ahead. Um, okay, so tell us about Port then. Um, a very vague question. Yeah, um, it was for a master's application and the, uh, the kind of brief really was to kind of tell the story visually. And I think I probably took that a little bit too literally. Um, but that kind of fed really where I took the initial ideas um, and it was kind of dictated a little bit by not that the performances weren't great but, but in terms of who I could cast and that dictate what kind of dialogue I wanted to put in there as well and it became a very visual piece quite quickly and stayed quite visual. Um, very small, it's a very small cast, uh, a very small crew uh, and went out into Aberstock in Wales and just kind of shot these visual ideas really and some of it was kind of quite clear, some of the shots you see were clear from my idea development, some of them were a bit more organic to what we just kind of approached. Um, <laughs> Pure <laughs> fart. <laughs> cool, cool. I, was, I thought I'd seen those waves before, I was trying to put my finger on where, where you'd filmed it. But okay. yeah, definitely yeah. Abbasock, it's gorgeous there. Yeah, it's lovely. Really, really yeah. lovely location. Um, any reason why you've picked Abbasock? Um, India is in the film, is my girlfriend, she um, she used to go there as a kid, and it was just one of those kind of um, kind of serendipi serendipitous yeah, moments, yeah. Um, sure. whereby she said, "This is really nice. I used to go there all the time as a kid. What do you think?" Uh, me and uh, Noel, who's in the audience, took a little um, a little recce down there um, to check it out, and it was just yeah, it's perfect. We hadn't actually we couldn't get in the where we rented, where we hired this, uh, this it's like an old fisherman's hut, it was, it was great, but we didn't know what it was like inside until we got there, so it was a bit of a, taking a chance with that really, but we got lucky with the interiors as well. It's kind of worked out well really, yeah. to have that location, it, it did feel kind of like it was crisping over at the edges and you yeah. had those crabs, didn't you, just kind of... Yeah, and that was completely there. off the cuff as well, we so don't ask me it. to explain the crabs. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sentence we never thought we'd hear in Kino <laughs> film. <laughs> It's just a little big metaphor for him having crabs. You don't need to explain your crabs away, we're all very there's understanding. Like like, there must be something about these seats that just looks like a crude what? baby down. <laughs> Brilliant. No, that's really cool. I quite liked the contrast between um, the kind of crispy crabs and how your main character, the guy, I don't know what his name was, was very sort of amphibious and didn't seem to... Yeah come to life until he was near water. Yeah, I think that, I think it, it was a very loose, um, the girls had gone out and picked crabs, picked crab shells. And <laughs> Stop <laughs> loving it, crabs. And, it looked, and, they, and they looked amazing, and so it was, it was a case of just, just have a, you know, let's rack them up on there. So I suppose it gave me an opportunity to kind of, um, I think the, the, the kind of trust to try and put an audience there to stick with this, but I kind of wanted it to be frustrating, I wanted there to be kind of patience there to just kind of, I wanted that tension to build and it was more of a kind of visual scape than trying to really kind of get a true narrative across but the crabs kind of added to that and kind of given him some sort of OCD element as well so. Cool. Okay. Um, any questions from the audience? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what did you shoot on? Uh, that was 5D as well and some 550D. But, um, okay. That was, it wasn't as much down to necessity but down to um, just wanted to shoot on them really, that was the first thing I shot and just with um, not com more coming from more kind of use of broadcast and HD camcorder stuff Right. it's just interesting to, to try what was, was happening with the, as I think most of the things we've seen tonight have shot on DSLR so yeah. um, same, there were similar limitations but offered, offered so much as well and gives you that certain style and aesthetic Cool, are you planning any other films? Um, well this is a, it's a good year ago now um, so I've not really been done much with Paul, it's kind of run its course for what I wanted to do um, but I screened a couple of things, uh, short things at the experimental night John had last week. So it was really just an opportunity from that. Um, so I'm just doing experimental things, personal things really at the moment, which um, it's called 12 Anomalies. So if you search for that on Facebook, it's trying to do something creative every month. So it's just kind of, at the moment, quite insular little projects, but I've um, got a couple of slightly bigger things up and coming. Uh, but similar, kind of low budget, no budget with that, kind of pulling in the front, helping friends. And, people I trust as well. Yeah, yeah no, it certainly looks very, very ambitious as well. Um, can I ask what master's course you're applying for? It was for the cinematography at uh, the National Film School. Oh, wow. It was last year um, and it wasn't successful. So, it's a but tough it was one cool. to get yeah, into. It's, it's tough really? and, um, maybe in the future, but not this year. Yeah. Um, 
we'll see what happens. Oh. But it was good, it was a good learning curve, it was a good, um, I learned a lot from the rejection of that experience, I think, in a way. So it was kind of, it made me realise, yeah, I want to carry on trying to do different things with this as opposed to, well, I'll leave it now. So cool. it was useful. That's a really positive thing. Mm. Awesome. Are there any questions from the audience? Yes. No. All right, well, best of luck. Okay. You might get into the NFTS yet. We'll see. All right. <laughs> Cheers. All right, thank you very much. Cheers. Bye.